Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be discussing should you let your in-laws meddle with raising your kids? So the, the, the first part of that is you are letting them meddle. That is the first thing wrong, okay? You should be there to um, protect your kids from the meddling, shall we say. That's the first thing you should do, is that you can listen to your parents' advice and you can take your parents' advice very seriously, but you have to filter it. Filter your parents' advice. You don't have to exactly follow everything they do. They may have, and they probably do have, some very good ideas about raising kids. It doesn't mean you have to follow them because, as you remember, when, when we grew up, we lived in a, a much different world. There wasn't all these computers everywhere, there wasn't cell phones, there wasn't the technology. There is then. So things were very different in our generation and they were even more different in their generation. Things have changed a lot. So you don't have to concisely listen to or let's say obey everything they say, but I would say listen to it. Because kids are still kids, that hasn't changed. Raising them is still raising them, it's still difficult, that hasn't changed. But do you have to listen to your parents? Not particularly. Uh, do you let them meddle? Not at all. There was um, a story a uh, long, long time ago, um, we were calling Christmas dinner and my parents set the oven and my grandmother went in there and turned the oven down. And my dad was, what's, what's wrong with the oven? I turned it back up again. She went in there and turned it back down. All these people touching the knobs on the oven over and over again. Christmas dinner got absolutely ruined because if you think about it, the oven was getting two different messages at the same time. One person was turning the oven down the next person was turning the oven up. If you do that to kids, the kids are gonna have problems as well. Because, hey, like the turkey, they're gonna get half baked. Not a good idea. So, one person should be consistently parenting the kids. And that's the problem with divorces as well. And when two parents go separate ways and have a divorce, one parent may have a one style of parenting, and one parent may have a different style of parenting. And as the kids switch between two houses, you and I know that all hell breaks loose. Why does it break loose? Because you have two inconsistent, and often they are basically divergent, shall we say, methods of parenting. You have one parent which is very relaxed and very sloppy and lets their kids stay up all night playing video games. And you have the other parent who's on top of them saying, okay, you gotta do your homework, you gotta get a bed on time, and he's running a very strict house. You jump kids between two houses like that, and it is, causes no end of problems. The same thing is happening if your in-laws start babysitting and start meddling with the kids. They may have a completely different set of rules than, than you implement. And if the rules are conflicting, the kids don't know where they stand, and they're probably going to side with the person who has the easiest, uh, easiest set of rules in that. So here's the deal. Don't let your parents, your in-laws, whoever, meddle with your kids. They are your kids. They're going to be yours for a long time. Just, just leave them out of it. And if they, if they give you trouble, say it like it is. Say, they are my kids. Sorry. I'm going to listen to you, but I'm also going to follow my own way. Thanks for watching. Click down there, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.